Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to today's webcast entitled, The Only Cannabis Company with Federally Legal Product in the U.S. and Canada. Today's conversation is brought to you by True Leaf and powered by OnStream Media. To submit a question or comment at any time during the webcast, please click on the Ask a Question button on the bottom of your screen. Simply type your message in the box and click on the Submit button. All questions will be answered at the end of today's presentation. We welcome Truly CEO and Board Director Darcy Bomford as he discusses the alternative investment in the only cannabis company with federally legal product in the U.S. and Canada. True Leaf, the quality of life company for people and their pets, is seeking to raise up to 10 million CAD during its Reg A Plus IPO and invites fans, customers, and supporters to invest at a discounted price per share than the current market price. During this webinar, Darcy will cover topics ranging from True Leaf's innovative and safe hemp based product line to the company's plan to build out its cannabis production facilities. About today's webinar, SEC disclaimer and offering statement regarding this offering has been filed with the SEC, and the SEC is qualified that offering statement, which only means that True Leaf Medicine Incorporated may make sales of the securities described by that offering statement. It does not mean that the SEC has approved, passed upon the merits, or passed upon the accuracy or completeness of the information in the offering statement. You may obtain a copy of the offering circular that is part of the offering statement by bit.tl backslash true leaf foc. You should read the offering circular before making any investment. Forward looking statements. This presentation also contains statements that to the extent that they are not recitations of historical fact constitute forward-looking statements. Forward-looking statements are typically identified by the use of terms such as may, should, expect, could, intend, plan, anticipate, estimate, believe, continue, predict, potential, or the negative of such terms and other comparable terminology. The forward-looking statements, including herein, are based upon True Leaf's current expectations, plans, estimates, assumptions, and beliefs that involve numerous risks and uncertainties. Assumptions relating to the foregoing involve judgment with respect to, among other things, future economic, competitive, and market conditions, and future business decisions, all of which are difficult or impossible to predict accurately, and many of which are beyond True Leaf's control. Although truly believes that the expectation reflected in such forward-looking statements are based on reasonable assumptions, truly actually results and performs at the value of its securities and could differ materially from those set forth in the forward-looking statements due to the impact of many factors including, but not limited to, risks and uncertainties detailed in the risk factors, risk factors in the risk factors section of truly offering circular on Form 1A filed with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission and other discussions of risk factors contained in True Leaf periodic filings or supplements to the offering circular. True Leaf's offering circular on Form 1A can be found at bit.ly backslash True Leaf FOC. True Leaf claims that the safe harbor protection for forward-looking statements contains in the Private Securities Litigation Reform Act of 1995. True Leaf undertakes no obligation to update or revise any such information for any reason after the date of this presentation unless required by law. At this time, it is my pleasure to turn the floor over to today's speaker, Darcy Bomford. Darcy, the floor is yours. Thank you very much, Pat. I'll just start by going to slide three. So truly, I'll give you a little bit of history on myself. I, I originally was from the pet industry. I started a company called Dartford uh, when I was very young, and uh, it was a, a manufacturer and marketer of pet products. 
and I exited that company in 2012. And at, at that point in time, I had a one-year non-compete, and I was looking for opportunities. And and uh, the Canadian government, uh, coincidentally, announced the new MMPR program in Canada, which essentially was a program that allowed companies to grow, uh, package, and sell direct to consumer medicinal cannabis on a federal level in Canada. So uh, I saw the opportunity there and uh, formed a company called True Leaf Medicine, and uh, we ended up being one of the very early companies in Canada to apply for one of these federal medicinal licenses to produce and sell cannabis. And at the same time, uh, you know, early in 2013 and into 2014, there was a significant increase in the amount of applicants to the program, uh, over a thousand within a relatively short period of time. And we ended up uh, sort of being in, in the queue and in a holding pattern waiting for approval. In early 2014, we, we uh, found out that uh, through some consultants that basically, you know, there was no, no uh, firm date for license approval. Everybody was slowed down to a trickle. There was a few companies that received the license, but the, the federal government at that time was not supporting the entire program. So we made a segue at that point in time into the pet industry, and that's how Truly Pet came about. So we were still in the queue with our medicinal uh, cannabis application, and uh, we put that on hold for the time being and then kept filling out all the paperwork as it came in. But we formed a different uh, corporate company owned by the mothership, Truly Medicine International, called Truly Pet. It's 100% owned by that company, and it has its own separate team. And in late 2015, we launched a line of products called True Hemp to the to the to the Canadian pet industry. Sorry, I just got another call here. And uh, we first started with a line of uh, three products for pets, and it was uh, a True Hemp line. We had a hip and joint product a calming product, and an immune and heart product. And we launched that product into the Canadian market and early in 2016 to the U.S. market and also to the European market in 2016. And up to date now, we have uh, four range of products, nine SKUs altogether that are sold in Canada, the U.S., and also in Europe. And uh, the differentiation with that product line is we use hemp seed, which is federally legal in all jurisdictions. It's still cannabis sativa, but it doesn't contain uh, any THC or CBD. And uh, the, the initial formulations use this hemp seed as a base for each formula. And then we also have other active ingredients that we add to formulations for different functions. So we've created this very unique brand in the cannabis space that's legal in Canada and the U.S. And also, if you reference our True Leaf Med company, it's a federally legal company operating in Canada. So hence our, our tagline that we're one of the only completely federally legal uh, co companies selling these legal products in both jurisdictions, which uh, separates us from so many of the other competitors out there. Our next slide talks about the size of the market, which, as everybody knows, the cannabis market is growing significantly uh, in both countries, Canada and the U.S. Uh, in the U.S., uh, where there's hemp-friendly states or states where recreational cannabis is allowed, there's a significant market growing. And Arcview Research cites that within the next four years, uh, marijuana sales, and this is, a, you know, recreational and medicinal, could top $20 billion dollars in North America, and that also counts the Canadian market. Cannabis industry investment year over year is up 150%. And right now in uh, eight states in the U.S., recreational marijuana is legal. It covers actually 21% of the U.S. population, so it's going to be an absolutely massive, massive market. 29 states have laws that uh, are formed around medicinal cannabis or hemp in some form. So you can see that the potential market in the future is, is going to be very big. The next
next slide talks about some of the issues with cannabis, primarily in, in the U.S. market. And, and many investors are concerned in the U.S. because at a federal level, uh, cannabis, even uh, CBD from hemp, is still illegal. Unfortunately, even though there's huge markets developing in, in some states, Colorado, Washington, California is going to be legal in January, Oregon is legal now, Alaska, and some other eastern states. Even though there's a huge market developing there, there's still a large concern about the federal legality of all products being sold there. So it sort of casts a shadow on the entire market and, and brings some concern to many investors that are looking at companies in the cannabis space. And this is where we stand apart from the crowd. The next slide talks about the size of the market in Canada. And as I explained, that many American investors are shying away from investing in uh, U.S. cannabis-focused companies because of this federal legality issue. But the, and many of them are investing in Canadian companies, and that's where our company is a great fit. This slide talks about the huge potential demand that is coming about in Canada because of the, the nationwide federal, federal status of the product and the fact that it's endorsed by the Prime Minister and that he's allowing nationwide e-commerce and recreational cannabis later in 2018. Currently, under the current medicinal cannabis program, there's about 180,000 cannabis users, and the current uh, consumption is just under 6,000 kilos. But they expect there to be a huge shortfall next year when recreational cannabis is legalized in July where they're expecting upwards of 8 million people are going to be looking for cannabis under that new program, and upwards of 600,000 kilos of product. Currently, there's just over 60 companies approved to sell cannabis in Canada, and from every indication from Health Canada, they expect to have a huge demand starting next year. So it puts uh, applicants, and especially us, because we're a very early applicant into the, into the system, puts us at a great advantage because we've gone through a huge part of the application process. We expect to have our approval by uh, the summer next year. The next slide outlines the, the timeline of our company as it starts in July 2013, and as I explained earlier, that's when the company originally applied with the federal government. And we ended up being in, in this pre-screening and review process for, for over four years. And in April this year, we finally passed a major milestone within the program, which is the security clearing stage. And Health Canada does a deep dive into the security backgrounds of all officers, directors, and personnel in the company that are touching the product, and uh, we passed that milestone in April. So we're currently at the post-security review stage, and we're commencing the build-out of our facility at a location in the interior of British Columbia. We expect to be finished our facility uh, later in the spring of next year and be approved for selling the product by July next year, pending approval from Health Canada which will align with the federal legalization in July 1st of next summer. The next slide is an overview of our, of our site and our operation. As I, as I mentioned, we're in the interior of British Columbia, a little town called Lumbee, which is close to Kelowna in the interior of B.C. It's known as a hub of... Uh, of uh, activity for um, cannabis space for a long time. There's um, many operations that have operated under the previous program. We secured a 40-acre site, which is quite a sizable location in Lumbee, B.C. Lumbee is a small town. Uh, it's, it was primarily a, lum a lumber town, and it's, it's very excited about our application and fully supportive of our company and all its efforts. The initial building will be around the 48,000 square foot in size. And once phase one and two is complete, we'll have just over 4,500 kilos of production. Initially for phase one, that's not shown here, but initially phase one will be around 2,500 kilos of production, which represents around 20 to 25 million in, in, 
annual capacity. The size of the site allows us to expand to meet demand. The 40 acres would actually allow us up to a million square feet if we saw the demand there, which would produce you know, well over 100,000 kilos of production. The next slide is an aerial view of the site, and it shows two primary buildings. Uh, phase one is a building that uh, where the, the first building is going to go. Uh, this building here is, is actually going to be torn down. It's just a uh, coal building right now, and we'll be replacing it with a brand new facility with uh, uh, two two story offices, our D space, vault, and and the grow rooms. The other building on site is a massive ninety thousand square foot building with fifty five foot ceilings. So we could actually incorporate three different floors in there to produce, you know, well over 10,000 kilos of product per year. That's an overview of True Leaf Med and the location and some of our, our capacities and, and grow operations. The next slide uh, talks about True Leaf Pet. And uh, this is an overview of our existing product line. Across the top of the slide, you'll see our soft shoes. And there's three different functions that we, we address with the product line, both the soft shoe format. Uh, we also have an oil format that you put on the dog's food every day. And we have a, a dental chew stick format as well. All three formulations offer the same dosage per chew or stick or a dosage of oil. And they, they provide function for hip and joint. So for older dogs that are finding it harder to get around when they get older, uh, the hip and joint formulation has curcumin and, and greenlit muscle for hip and joint support. We have a calming product that has uh, lemon balm and chamomile extracts to provide a calming function. And L-theanine, which is a commonly known amino acid found in green tea that provides a calming support function. The immune and heart is for, for all dogs of all ages, and it has pomegranate extract, which has punitic acid, supports uh, antioxidant function, and also DHA and EPA from fish oil. So it's, uh, you know, three products that serve a variety of different dogs in different life stages. It's been very, very well received in the marketplace. Uh, we have over 1,600 stores in North America and over 200 stores in Europe and also some distribution in New Zealand as well. They're 100% Leo. There's no CBD in these initial formulations, and that's because we wanted to be, you know, federally legal in the U.S., so we'll have no problems with the federal government at any level. Uh, this slide shows our first quarter revenue of $294,000 Canadian. Uh, we're over $768,000 now for for the second quarter, so halfway through the year, we're just uh, under 800,000 in sales. Our business model is uh, is scalable. We use co-pack suppliers to make our products, so we aren't financing or using capital to build plants. We provide the formulations and the hemp material to our co-pack partners, and they make the product to suit our demand. We also have a central location in Missouri. It's very efficient. Our co-packers are located nearby. They make the product. They ship it to our central distribution center, and we service the entire North American marketplace from that location. In Europe, we have a German co-packer. Uh, they make the product for us, and they also store and ship the product from that same location and services the entire European market. Next slide. The next slide is an overview of the pet market. Uh, for those people that have pets in the audience, you probably recognize that the pet industry is, is a lot larger than most people think. It's a $105 billion market worldwide. In the U.S. alone, it's a $60 billion market. And the market that we're particularly targeting with our product line is the, the nutraceutical treats, supplements, and uh, compa and um, Supplement market. It's 1.6 billion, 
580 million specifically for the pet supplement market. It's a growing market. You know, many people are buying supplements for their pets as they get older to complement their pet care. This slide here is a is a snapshot that explains the pet industry. It's quite interesting. It was actually made at a local grocery store. And you'll see on the left you'll have a premium pet food, two forty nine for a tin of pet food. And on the right, coincidentally, in the same location in the grocery store it is organic baby food for people, for babies, at eighty four cents. So you can see how the pet market is over time price per gram or per kilo has increased and people will pay an inordinate amount of money for quality products for pets. It's a, it's a great opportunity for us. It's a great market to be in. Next slide. The demographics for both companies, for both Trulis Pet and for Trulis Med, are, are very similar. They're millennials and baby boomers. Both millennials and baby boomers are supportive of, of cannabis legalization. Uh, millennials are are uh, avid users of cannabis. Many millennials are, are using cannabis instead of buying alcohol. Uh, there's no calories. There's no hangover. And, you know, it's relatively safe to use in most instances. Baby boomers are, are turning to cannabis as a replacement for some of the harsher pharmaceutical drugs that uh, come with side effects. And cannabis, CBD in, in particular, has great promise for inflammation, for pain. Uh, THC has been known to help... Uh, for uh, chemotherapy and a, num a number of other indications. And for millennials, uh, you know, many millennials are not having kids at the same time as the baby boomers did. They're having, buying pets instead of having kids, and they're actually driving the entire pet industry right now. They're looking for natural products that support their pet's health. And baby boomers, the kids have left the house, and they're actually also another driving force in the pet industry because they're they're buying pets to replace the kids, and they're also looking for healthy products to support their pets' health. That slide 13 is a it's an overview of our of our company and where we're at right now. So as we mentioned earlier, we're one of the first cannabis opportunities in North America to have federally legal products, both in Canada and the U.S. and Europe, of course. We're generating revenue. Uh, we're in the pet side. With, generated uh, $762,000 Canadian halfway through the year. And uh, we'll talk a little bit about our current opportunity with the reggae offering. Uh, part of the attraction for Truly for right now is that we're, we've been approved by the SEC for what's called a reggae plus crowdfunding initiative. And it allows consumers of, of all demographics to actually buy shares in our company. So we wanted to open up uh, ownership in our company, not only to accredited investors, but also to people that believe in our products and, and uh, want to own, own a piece of something. We allow a minimum investment of 500 shares, which is as little as $350. And as you rate, uh, increase your investment, there are certain perks and, and uh, benefits to participating in the company. Well, True Leaf is the first cannabis company from Canada, the first public company from Canada to be approved for Regulation A-plus in the U.S. And we're very excited about that, and we see Reg A-plus as a, a great opportunity to have the, the buying public participate as shareholders in our company. We've spent uh, well over, or close to $400,000 uh, marketing this Regulation A-plus raise, and I think if you check out our website now and invest uh, trueleaf.com. Uh, we're just under $4 million uh, secured to date. We're very excited about the feedback from our raise, and uh, we expect uh, to have a fantastic response as we go forward over the holiday season, and we hope to close it in, in early January. Oh, yeah. Next slide is an overview of our team. Uh, unique to us is uh, we have uh, the chairman of our company, Mr. Mike Harcourt. Uh, many will know him as uh, former mayor of Vancouver. He's mayor of Vancouver for two full terms. And then he was also the premier of our province, British Columbia, for two additional terms. So very widely respected fellow. Great to have him on board, and he uh, works with us every day. We also have Dr. Chris Spooner, the naturopathic doctor. He's one of our directors. 
And Mr. Kevin Bottomley operates out of Vancouver. He's a director and also in charge of the corporate relations. We have a full team in, in Vernon and in Vernon, British Columbia, which is close to our grow operation in Lummi. And also a partial team in Vancouver that uh, operates here. Next slide, Justine. Just an overview of the investment opportunity. Our, our company is currently trading on the CSC and OTC QB markets. At, in Canada, the Canadian price is just over 90 cents, uh, but our equity crowdfunding raises at 70 cents Canadian. So there's a great opportunity for people to become involved there. Uh, total shares outstanding is just over 70 million. Uh, so another 14 million reserve commissions. Fully diluted, we're just under 85 million shares. Uh, management owns uh, just over 36, 37 percent of the company. So it's a, a very tightly held company. Uh, we have uh, shareholders uh, that are interested in the long term success of the company. The float is relatively small. Our market cap right now is around 70 million Canadians. Next slide, uh, just as an overview of our tagline, Return the Love. And this really comes from the unconditional love that our pets show us every day. And it's, uh, it's a great tagline that really resonates with our consumers. And we, we talk about it on the truly pet side is returning the love to your dog that you receive from him every day. And also for yourself, you know, return the love to yourself for quality of life. And we think it, uh, it's, a, it's a message and a, a model that people can live by, and, it is, and uh, we really believe in it. The last slide, 17. Uh, just talked about some comparables in the industry right now. Uh, the cannabis space is very active in Canada, and this is an overview of some of the companies that are listed in Canada right now that have licenses. And you see uh, Canopy Growth, Aurora, Organogram, and some of the companies there. It shows the price in October, and the last column on the right shows the most recent price. So you can see some massive increases over the last few months, and it's reflecting how active the cannabis industry is right now in Canada. And the remaining slide is an overview of some of the health and wellness companies in the industry. Truly's Pet would fall into this category. Uh, you see here there's some pet brands that have sold for some very good multiples and also some companies in the natural product space like Manitoba Hemp and Vega that have received high multiples, uh, which could potentially relate to our company. Then before and before we uh, go to your questions, I'd just like to, we like to do a short poll with all the people that are participating in our presentation today. So, Kat, it's over to you. Great. Thank you so much. Okay, guys, we're going to push out a polling question now. If you could provide us with your answer. Uh, what is the biggest driver of your possible investment? I want to own a part of the green rush. I'm impressed by True Leaf's hemp-based products for pets. True Leaf is the only fully legal cannabis company selling products in the U.S., Canada, and worldwide. True Leaf is from Canada, and I want to invest specifically in the Canadian Green Rush or all of the above. Thanks, everyone. We'll give you a few seconds to um, cast your answer. Okay, let's take a look at the results. Okay, it looks like 10% want to be uh, want to own a part of the Green Rush. I have another 10% that are impressed by True Leaf's hemp-based products for pets. 20% say that True Leaf is from Canada and I want to invest specifically in the Canadian uh, Green Rush. 
And 60%, over half of you say all of the above. So I really, yeah, really appreciate your input. Back over to you, Darcy. Well, fantastic. I just wanted to mention that we'll be sending through a code for everybody that participated in the poll, and you'll get a discount on our products online. Thank you very much for your participation. We, we really appreciate it. So I'm just looking at the questions here. Uh, will it be dilution? And I've already invested in truly, should I sell them? Uh, from the same person, each cannabis company says they're the only one. What are the differences? So there will be some additional dilution. Of course, uh, companies, when they raise money and issue their shares, there always is dilution, right? So that will be part of our new financing, but however, this dilution we expect, uh, you know, is not going to negatively affect the valuation of our company. It's going to allow us to finish off the construction of our facility and ultimately get our license approval through Health Canada. Our, our market cap rate right now is $70 million, which is still relatively low compared to other licensed producers in the marketplace. Uh, even some of the companies with the licenses on a lower level, you know, they probably start around $100 million. Uh, but many of the companies in this space that have approval, that, the same approval that we're aiming for, have market caps starting at $300 million, $500 million, and there's three or four now that have over a billion dollar market caps. Two of them are over $3 billion. So I think we still have a long road ahead of us and a, an opportunity to create real value for our shareholders. And the differences between us is we are not focused on the rec market. Uh, but we are focused on making the absolute highest quality product for both people and pets. Our initial product selection will be focused on CBD and smaller amounts of THC. And we're very confident that the quality that we bring to the table will be different. And I, I recognize that many other companies are, are saying that. But I think if you follow our company over the next few months, you'll recognize that uh, we mean what we say. We also do what we say. You know, we have a great team behind us, and uh, we're very excited about the future. Uh, next question here, do owners get samples of the product? Uh, yeah, definitely people that participate online with our reggae offering, there's a whole selection of perks. And as you invest more, uh, there's more perks. I think we start with a, uh, a bandana. And then when you reach a certain level, you'll get free products. So just check invest.trueleaf.com. You'll see what perks are available there. When do we break new ground? We've actually broken ground already. We were hoping to, to use the existing uh, steel building, but it's actually going to be more or less costly for us to tear it down and build right next to it. So we'll have a greenfield facility. And it'll be one level. And it'll be very efficient and fast. We're using uh, pre-made panels of a special composite material to build our facility. And we have a number of uh, providers close by that are very experienced in this field, and we expect to meet a, a finished deadline of somewhere around June to have the building completely finished and ready to grow. You see the company being purchased by larger LPs. Uh, of course, this is always a possibility. You know, many, as I mentioned, many of the companies now, uh, you know, have huge valuations, over $3 billion, and, you know, a lot of them have large war chests of capital in their bank. So it is potentially feasible that one of these companies may try to acquire us or do a joint venture with us. And the same goes for other companies entering the space. You know, there's a lot of rumors that uh, big tobacco or big liquor is looking at the industry. I'm sure there's also some venture capital groups or large uh, consumer product brands that are looking at the cannabis space in general, and they'll be making acquisitions. So you never know. That could be one of us. Can a person roll over a 401? I believe our company is eligible for that. Uh, I'm not well-versed on the U.S. side of the equation. It would be best to ask your, your investor advisor for that information. I have invested for some amount. I wish to invest a little more. How should I proceed? Uh, the best way to proceed is to either talk to your broker or go online to our own portal at invest.trueleaf.com. 
uh, we've spent a significant amount of capital to, to try and make it as easy a process as possible. So you, you actually don't have to go through your broker. You can actually go to our website, click Invest Now, and there's a specific amount of uh, paperwork there that you can go through and actually acquire the shares and have them sent to you. We have a digital stock certificate, so it's actually uh, relatively slick once you go through the process. If that doesn't work for you, then you definitely can talk to your financial advisor. In Canada, the stock symbol is MJ. And in the U.S., on the OTCQB, it's TRLF. How, when, how and when will the shares be get and when will the funds be sent? Uh, we're going to be doing an initial partial closing this week, and then we expect to, to close the entire project early in January. So if you've already participated online, uh, you should be seeing uh, some notification from us and your share certificates should arrive sometime in January. There's always a bit of a lag to go through the paperwork. If you have any questions at all, please email us or talk to Bowstead directly. They're our underwriter. Uh, there's a last tech question here. If you just shoot us an email, you can email me directly at uh, Darcy at TrueLeaf.com. That's D-A-R-C-Y. Uh, there's another question here. If solution is not an issue, investors should only consider the share price, what they bought in and what the current price is. And the current share price right now when we're trading that uh, it's just over 90 cents, and the offering is at 70 cents, so it represents a great value for investors. So, anyways, we'd love to have your participation. If you have any other questions for True Leaf, please uh, check out our website or send us an email to info at trueleaf.com. I wanted to thank everybody for particip participating today, and we look forward to, uh, to hopefully seeing you as a shareholder. Thank you very much. Thank you. This does conclude today's conference. We thank you for your participation. You may disconnect your lines at this time and have a wonderful day.